Hello, my name is Michał Słowikowski and I am pre-sales engineer in Datapolis. Today I will be showing you how easily you can build and deploy SharePoint workflows with Datapolis Workbox. Our first process will be a simple approval workflow. For that we have to create a list for our requests. Then we will go to the List tab and Workbox Settings. On this page you will see workflows associated with current list. Now we will just create new workflow. After Designer will load up you will see Help window which shows basic information about building workflows with Workbox. We'll close it for now, but if you want to read it later, you can find it, find it in Support and Feedback and Workbox Help. Every time you will create new workflow, you will see Beginning and Finish State, Rollbox and Toolbox. First, I will put some states, which are stages of the process. We can easily customize them by changing name or color. After making necessary changes, I will connect states with actions, which are transitions between phases of the process. You can also customize name of actions. After you will finish, you can clearly see path and steps of the process. Now we should add some users to participate inside the workflow. Inside Rollbox, we'll create new role, Approver. Next, we'll assign user Tom from our SharePoint server. Last step is assigning role to specific actions. In our case, this will be Approve and Reject action. As you can see, you can do it just by dragging and dropping role to action. Also, you can easily check which role can perform which action by hovering mouse over the role or over the action. Now, when we have finished our work, we can save and deploy workflow straight to SharePoint. After workflow has been deployed, we will add a new item to our request list. Workflow will add two new columns to your list one which will show status of workflow and second which shows in which state your workflow is. Newly created item is in the state new form and we can submit it for approval. As you can see State of workflow has changed, and now I cannot perform any actions related to workflow. 
For that, I have to switch to user Tom, which holds approver permissions. I will just switch web browser and go to our list. Now I can approve or reject. When you want to get more detailed information, you can check visual history of workflow. Here you can check who started the workflow and when. You can also check when actions were launched and by whom. In next video, I will show you how easily you can change your existing process by automating decisions, adding form and sending email notifications. Thank you for watching introduction video for Datapolis Workbox. Hope you've enjoyed it.